Today we're going to talk about fuel, which is Milwaukee's new brushless motor uh, technology. Again, uh, it's called fuel. Uh, the first thing that we're going to launch uh, next month is going to be the 18 volt hammer drill and driver drill. This happens to be a driver drill that I'm holding here. But with fuel, the three, there's three things that people need to know about brushless uh, technology. Why do we need brushless? Well, what's the advantage? And there's three things that we can do. One is that the motor itself in here will last 10 times longer than a traditional motor. And that's because we don't have brushes uh, anymore. The other thing is that we get 25% more power out of this tool than we can a traditional brush tool. Uh, the third thing is that on a brushless motor system, we get about 50% more runtime. So I can take the um, battery pack that we use today um, on all of our brushed motors and we put it on fuel and it'll run 50% longer because it's more efficient. Uh, you don't have the brushes um, that cause resistance anymore and so this will run a lot more efficient so we get 50% more runtime off of the same battery pack that we're using today. So if we look about what it looks like on the inside, I'm just going to show you some packaging. When we open this up, it will show you exactly what this tool looks like on the inside. So number one, we've got our power state brushless motor system. Uh, the number two thing that we want you to realize is that it takes a really good battery to, um, to, make, this, uh, to make all this work. And we have the most advanced uh, lithium technology out there today with our red lithium cells. The third thing is just the electronics that we use, both in the battery pack and in the tools itself. Um, the electronics with our battery pack communicate with the tool itself. So it knows when it's running hot, when it's running cold, and they communicate with each other. So we call that red link. If this is being put into a load system where it's too much draw on that tool, it's going to shut itself off and protect the investment for that uh, tool user. It's not going to burn up the motor. We call that red link. It also communicates with the, with the charger itself when you're charging and discharging battery packs. This battery pack will, will uh, self-govern itself. Uh, the other thing that we've changed to fuel, if you take a look inside of uh, the case itself, is we're changing um, the charger a little bit. So it's going to charge both the 18 volt battery and now it'll also charge the 12 volt. So we call this a multi-volt charging system. And it doesn't charge them both at the same time. What it'll do is if you put an 18 volt battery on here and then a 12 volt, it'll charge whatever battery you put on first. So if you put the 18 volt on first, it'll charge that one and then it'll automatically switch over and char start charging the 12 volt. Or vice versa, if you put the 12 volt on first and then the 18, it'll charge 12 and then switch over to 18. Um, there's two big light indicators in the back here. It'll flash red uh, when it's charging and it'll go a bright green when it's done charging so you know exactly what, what's happening to your batteries. Okay, this is the Fuel M18 uh, driver drill. It's not the hammer drill, but we put a 7 8 bit on here. We're going to just drive it through this big piece of pine and see how well it does through here. Here we go. So Milwaukee's got two different batteries. Uh, we have the M18 XC battery, which just means it's our high capacity battery. We also make a low profile battery. It just has half the cells in it. We're gonna do our next uh, uh, drill with uh, the smaller battery to see how it does. That's actually nice. a better demo because it almost buries the whole bit anyway. Yeah. And it can get through. That was nice. With a little battery? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I mean, the batteries, it, the thing with this battery is it, 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 it doesn't put out quite as much oomph to the tool. So you, you, you lose about 20 to 30 inch pounds of torque when you put something like this. So it's not huge, but you're, you're losing some. Yeah. Right. That's cool. Yeah. Impact, impact wrenches, our 12 volt impact wrench has more torque than any drill on the market today. You serious? 
Yeah, impacts. R12 will just put out, what, 850 inch pounds of torque? You can't get that in the drill. Even this one only puts out 750, 725. But that's that, that's that um, computer chip saying, hey, you've got too much of a load on me and I'm shutting you off. So it won't burn up that motor or it won't burn up the battery. It protects itself. So if you put that in high like that and you try to jump it, it's going to shut off.